with another one, baby. Yes, sir. Ski. Woo! Today, I'm back with another timeless team video, man. I don't know, man. Y'all don't like this guy. Please tell me he dropping banger animations, real life stories. I mean, why aren't you guys watching him, bro? Tell me, please. I want to know. If you guys have, a, have other animation channels that you want to tell me to watch, I can watch. I can watch Devante one. You know? I can watch him. He's dope. You want me, want me to react to that? Please suggest on the comments down below. Please tell me who do you guys want me to react to. Because Thomas team got some banger videos, please. Can you guys watch? Show him some love. Go to his channel. Like, share. Watch his banger videos. Enough of the talk. Let's get right to it. In love and memory. Oh, Asia. I know what you're thinking. Damn, Damn Tim, Tim, why start it like that? <sighs> well, today, we get serious. <laughs> today, we're talking about how one bad decision can change your life forever. Hey, man, like my Marvel shit, bro. The case that is, bro. Y'all ain't been watching this guy, bro. It's going to be pushing, bro. Now y'all know I live in the Queen City, right? And as of lately, a couple of events have made me focus on this subject. So if you didn't know, a couple weeks ago, a three-year-old boy was killed after 150 shots were fired into their home in the middle of the night. And what makes this crazy is the fact the shooting was caught on camera. Now, according to officials, the suspects were teenage kids looking for that action, which has added to the multiple events involving high school kids being charged with gun possession in school campus. Now, this hits different because I grew up in the good old days, the days of using these hands. If two people in school got an issue, they solve it the hard way. A quick fade, some might say. No weapons, no help, just a man-to-man -man fight until the victor. But now, the world has changed. Kids are now afraid of fighting, leading them to use the equalizer, a.k.a. the blicky blicky, a.k.a. the gat, a.k.a. the toolie, a.k.a. where well, you get the point. And of course, the subject still comes back to video games. The question is, are violent shooting video games encouraging kids to conduct crimes? Now, I don't have the answers, but according to statistics, there's no direct link between video games and gun deaths, which I don't know about you, but sounds about right to me now i admit it i grew up loving playing violent video games come on my god seeing my childhood games went from looking like garbage pixel boxes like this to looking like this a lot more realistic but i ain't about their life no oh no 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 see anybody can squeeze a trigger it really doesn't take that much effort but can you deal with the consequences nah, that will man. come with that action See, videos like these are why I make animation. I didn't start making videos just for entertainment. Oh, no. My videos have purpose. A purpose of encouragement, perseverance, love. That's why it's called timeless, meaning eternal. So for this story, I'm going to take you back, back to my post-teen years. Now, if you're a rookie to the channel, let me put you on game. See, my first crib was in a bad neighborhood. The hood, some might say. You know the deal. Started from the bottom, now we here. Your boy was broke, making minimum wage, so I rented the only apartment I could afford, which just happened to be in the hood. Break yourself, bro. What? Now, every weekend, my boys and I would go hoop at the local park since we couldn't afford to hoop at the indoor gym. Now, hood parks are different, different. First thing first, you better come with that A game. Second, you better know how to trash talk. That's right. The ability to trash talk will get you through the game. However, it can also lead to the worst part of the hood basketball. And last but not least, this park was known for having that gang action. So one day I was hooping at the park and your boy was giving him that business. You hear me? I'm talking step back, mm, crossovers, mm, dunks, mm, the business. You feel me? Okay, I'm capping. Your boy was doing his thing, but I ain't no. LeBron James. Now, yeah. if you ever play street ball, you're going to feel me on this one. 
See, street ball embraces the street rules, a.k.a. prison rules. For example, you can only call hard fouls. Also, there's no foul limit to each player. Then to make it worse, there's no referees, which means Black Air Force One activity. Call it niggas nigging. So what could go wrong? Now, according to street rules, you play the game of 13. Ones and twos, shirts versus skins. So fast forward and we get to the end of the game. The ops had 11 and we had 12. Now, as usual, we will play the win by two. And I got the ball. Now, since I'm the point guard, I go for the attack faking and pass it to my big man for the easy lane. Now, this is when sh** got real. See, in street ball, there's an unspoken rule. See, in the book of Streetians, chapter 1, verse 1 says, if the opposing team is about to hit a game on by laying it up, oh, hell no. You, my guy, must not let them score easily. The only option is to foul them hard. That's right, fist to face if you must, by any means necessary. So my homie Josh goes for the light, but the ops rocks him hard and puts my mans on the ground. Oh, boy, this ain't good. You know that feeling you get when something just doesn't feel right. Oh, it's about to go down. Hey, kid, that was foul. Nah, we don't play that sissy layup here, boy. Who are you calling this sissy? You, fool. Okay, Tim, this ain't gonna end right. You know how hood niggas be. So just pack it up and get ready to dip. So I get to the side, get ready to pack my stuff. Now this is where things got crazy. You know what? I've got something for you. So I'm over to the side, getting my stuff. Then suddenly, I see everyone at the park running by me. What the? Now here's the thing when it comes to black people. See, when black people see people running for no reason, oh, hell no. Nah, we get to stepping. Nobody's got time to ask what's going on. Mm -mm. So I start running, not even knowing why everyone's running in the first place. But I didn't give a fuck. Bam, I'm going to find out when I get to the safe side. Then I heard, oh, we've got a gun. Ran even harder. And then it happened. Finn, when I tell you I dove for the floor like my life depended on it, they shoot me. Damn, Tim. I hope they don't see me. So after a few seconds, which felt like hours, the shot stopped. All right, Tim, just play dead. Close your eyes and act like Jesus just took you. Hey, yo, get up. Nah, Tim, don't you dare open your eyes. Keep playing dead, kid. Tim, wake your scary ass up. They gone. Oh, Josh. Whew. I thought they were coming for me. Are they really gone? Yeah, those were just warning shots. So we get up, looked around, and boy, did we dip. So, moral of the story. Never make a permanent decision on temporary feelings. What's up, world? Thank you for... Dropping bangers every single day, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, thank y'all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Banger videos coming up. Love y'all. Stay safe. Bye.